Didn't you? Did you see? I did didn't, you read? No, I. Do you, you want to read it? You've been getting too many of them where I don't have time to read them anymore. I just print them. Somebody else did a parody of the song "You're So Vain," a tribute to Brett Favre, and it's really good. We might have to play it later. You know me, I love love singing. He should have been the one to record it for us. I also have another song that I'm going to sing later. I don't know when to do it. I thought it might actually be appropriate now because I think it was last week. You familiar with Carly Simon? Yes, heard of her. She did the song called Your Soul Vain. And for years, everybody thought the song was written about Warren Beatty, actor, former lover of hers. Then people thought maybe it was Mick Jagger. And then all of a sudden, all sorts of names have been bandied about. And again, for some reason, that story is resurfaced again of who, who it's about. We have a... Uh, it's about her husband, Paul, right? Well, all I know is we have a a uh, a listener who thinks it was written about Brett Favre. Because <laughs> they've done a parody song to who... This actually came out before this new controversy... And it's very well done, so I think we have to do it one of these days. I don't, I'm not saying do it today right now, but we will have that song for you later. Oh, boy. Now, here's another one. Son of a gun. He mainly rewrites the lyrics to Carly Simon's You're So Vain in honor of Brett Favre. You can gong me anytime you think it's appropriate. He walked in to training camp like he had already won the job his hat strategically dipped in tractor grease his wranglers they were macabre he had one eye on the camera as we watched and watched him sob no one believed when he said it was his last year, said it was his last year, and yo, so vain. He probably thinks this song is about him, he's so vain. He probably thinks this song is about him, about him. Oh no, we'd probably win the title without him. That'd be several months ago. When we were still quite naive, he said that the pieces were all in place. And on Sunday he made us believe, but he gave away the season with a gunslinger type of throw. Miami dreams, they were thrown out the window, thrown out the window and... He's so vain He probably thinks this song is about him He's so, he's so vain He probably won the title without him Without him without, The words actually get better all the time Okay, we got one more verse, we gotta go with it Are you embarrassed for me right now? Oh boy you gotta stick to Dylan. Should I do the Dylan? Yeah. All right. Huh? What the? I had some dreams. They were clouds in my coffee. Clouds in my coffee. And you're so vain. You probably <laughs> This is written so well that I have to continue on with it. I don't care if you like it or not. We're ready now? Okay, here we go. I'll do a Dylan ass though instead, okay? <clears throat> well, I heard he's gone down to Hattiesburg to decide about next year. Chili will fly his Learjet down to Mississippi and convince him to play I Fear. Well, he's where he should be all the time. And when he's not, he's with some sports center spy named Schefter or Werder. Schefter or Werder. And you're so vain. The rework. The rewrite. 
for your soul vein. Here's another one. It's an eight. Here's an email. Common, thank you for finally singing my You're So Vain lyrics on the air. Remember mm. when I tried that during, uh, was it Brett Favre? Yeah. You may be tempted to nominate me for preposterous statement, but my heart started racing when you started to mention it on air yesterday. And when you finally sang the words, I was singing along quietly at my desk. Simply put, it was a dream come true. Sincerely, T. Jack Apologist Guy. Just Aww. a little, little moment like that. Just, just trying to, and, and I did it horribly, by the way, sing his email made his, maybe not only his day, but his life. It's our top of the hour break here on The Fan.